Hello from Queens, New York. I am glad to share brief thoughts with you and I look forward to expanding them at upcoming events and publications, so stay tuned. When we talk about libraries, digital, online services, we talk about access to information. This access can save lives, can change lives. As a librarian, I am happy to strategize ways to provide the access our communities need. We are all living in an increasingly heterogeneous society. The international migration rate is growing every year, resulting in an increasing number of people with complex identities. Here in the United States, almost 13% of the population is foreign born. The top two regions of origin are Latin American and the Caribbean in Asia. One in six Americans is now Hispanic or Latino. This means that 16% of the population in the United States is Latino. Regions such as the south of the country had a dramatic change in population with their Latinos going up from 8.5 to 31.2%. The top three countries of origin nationwide are Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Cuba. Some of the cities with the largest Latino population are Miami, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Boston. And you probably can name a few more. The latest census report also indicated that 21% of the total population speak another language with Spanish and Chinese being the top two. As per the UNESCO Public Library Manifesto, the services of the public libraries are provided on the basis of equality of access to all. Specific services and materials must be provided for those who cannot, for whatever reason, use the regular services and materials, for example, linguistic minorities. Furthermore, IFLA's Multicultural Library Manifesto states that libraries function as learning, cultural, and information centers. In addressing cultural and linguistic diversity, library services are driven by the commitment to the principles of fundamental freedoms and equity of access to information and knowledge for all. Libraries serving multi-ethnic populations are connecting community members with services to meet the local needs. Access to information online can help members of our communities to share their stories, find jobs, continue their education, and stay in contact with their loved ones in their home country. In many cases, help them speed up governmental processes as well. It is all about connecting people. It is also about providing tools for our diverse populations to seek fulfillment, self-actualization, and achieve the personal growth we all need. As we know, to achieve this, we need to meet basic level needs spelled out by Maslow and his hierarchy of needs. Access to information that will help our customers meet physiological needs, such as food and shelter, and safety needs, such as employment, health, and property, would put individuals on track to progress to other levels, would motivate them to achieve personal growth. We would contribute to healthy and civic engaged societies. For instance, Queen's Library has developed databases in Spanish to connect customers with nonprofit organizations providing a myriad of services in New York. Queens also created a Facebook page in Spanish and develops videos about financial literacy and being environmentally friendly in many languages. This library and others such as the Los Angeles Public Library are providing access to ebooks, audiobooks, and music online in Spanish and other languages. For instance, they have websites 
in Chinese, Korean, Russian, French as well. What is next? Libraries developing more social media in various languages. Print on demand to benefit small business owners or first-time authors. More development of in-house databases to meet the needs of increasingly diverse communities. Land items that will solve problems. iPads, smartphones, musical instruments, you name it. We can be as creative as our community need us to be. We can provide anything they need. And if we don't have it, we can partner to provide it. We can learn from others and share the knowledge with our local libraries. Elected officials, community leaders, engage everyone to help our communities. Because there is a disparity of services, many people don't have access to the internet. And there are differences in the way people access the internet and how people from different demographic groups access the internet. For instance, a recent Pew report indicated that Latinos are going online. A large group is accessing computers and another almost equally large group use cell phones. Libraries can be that main point of information. Connection and access to information about these services in each of their communities. I know many libraries have gotten into this line of action, but we need to do more. This is a matter for library decision makers and frontline librarians. Additionally, we ought to consider if library schools need to reevaluate their curriculum to increase teaching of services for multi ethnic populations. This is an important matter for everyone. We need to partner with CBOs and NGOs to strategize services for newcomers, for those who speak other languages, and continue fulfilling our mission as community centers open to all. This is a good investment in the community's future, which will further civic engagement and participation of everyone in the community to solve problems and tackle issues impacting their neighborhoods. And ultimately, this is worth the time and effort involved.